Good morning and welcome to Historic Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall. Originally established as Fort Whipple in 1863 and changed to Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall in 2009. Its main purpose was fortification in the defense of Washington. Since its inception, Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall has been the home of horse cavalry, artillery, and infantry. Today, it is home to the Old Guard, the United States Army Band, and the United States Army Garrison. Before today's review begins, the United States Army Band, Pershing's own, presents a pre-ceremonial concert featuring the following musical selections. Army Medics, Big Red One March, and American Soldier.
Once again, good morning and welcome. Today, the United States Army Military District of Washington, represented by the soldiers of the 3rd United States Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, and the United States Army Band, Pershing's Own, pay a special tribute to Brigadier General Jeffrey J. Johnson, who is retiring after 33 years of distinguished service to the United States Army and our nation. Participating in today's ceremony from left to right is the United States Army Band, Pershing's Own, Formed in 1922 by then Army Chief of Staff, General John J. Pershing, the United States Army Band is the premier band of our senior service. Pershing's Own provides musical support for ceremonies and special events in our nation's capital and throughout the United States. The United States Army Band is under the direction of Major Day Kim and led by Drum Major Rob Moore. Elements of the Old Guard include Delta Company, commanded by First Lieutenant Ethan Penny, and led by Sergeant First Class Jeffrey Bashirs. Next on line is Hotel Company, commanded by Captain Jeremy Klein, and led by First Sergeant Brandon Jenkins. Since the days of the American Revolution, the colors have been one of the most important elements of a military unit. Therefore, in the center of our formation, and bearing the national color, is the nation's foremost color team, the 3rd Infantry's Continental Color Guard, led by Sergeant Nathan Celia. Next on line is Honor Guard Company, commanded by 1st Lieutenant Dirk Weisenberger and led by Sergeant First Class John Robinson. Following is the Commander-in-Chief's Guard, patterned after the unit created by General George Washington in 1776 to be his personal guard. The Commander-in-Chief's Guard is commanded by Captain Ian Quinn and led by 1st Sergeant Mike Lydiard. Next on line is Headquarters and Headquarters Company, commanded by Captain Nicolette Kisner and led by First Sergeant Sean Sweeney. The last element to your left, dressed in the Continental Musician's uniform, is the United States Army Old Guard, Fife and Drum Corps. During the American Revolution, musicians wore the reverse colors of their parent infantry unit. The men and women of the United States Army Old Guard, Fife and Drum Corps maintain this tradition by wearing the red coats instead of the infantry blue. The Corps is led today by Drum Major John Parks. Ladies and gentlemen, moving into position is the Commander of Troops for today's ceremony, Lieutenant Colonel David M. Lamborn, Commander, 4th Battalion, 3rd United States Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard. The history of the 3rd United States Infantry Regiment reflects the growth and development of our nation. 52 well-earned campaign streamers, 2 valorous unit awards, 5 meritorious unit commendations, and 5 superior unit awards attested the Old Guard's record of bravery in action and achievements during peacetime. Ladies and gentlemen, taking the reviewing stand is the reviewing official for today's ceremony, Brigadier General Jeffrey J. Johnson, accompanied by the host, Major General Omar J. Jones, Commanding General, United States Military District of Washington. Please stand as honors are rendered.
Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the advancing of the colors and remain standing for the United States National Anthem. Detachment, present, on!
Please be seated. Headquarters Department of the Army Special Orders. By order of the Secretary of the Army, the following General Officer is retired. Brigadier General Jeffrey J. Johnson. We are proud to recognize the devotion to our country by Brigadier General Johnson. We wish him happiness and prosperity in his well-earned retirement. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the posting of the colors. Post the colors. Staff, right, face. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Army Song!
part of Persian Tone. Take, take many trips. <laughs>